As you can see on this anchor, there are also other little places here on the bow that have to be touched up with a little brush later. But I'm going to wait until everything is glued down into place and then go around and do it. Once we're completely done with step 10 here. And I think the anchor will probably hold itself in place a lot better once the anchor chain is attached. In episode number one in this series, you saw the models of the Titanic and the Lusitania down in my workshop. And when I was building the, the Titanic, that was the last one, there was no internet. It hadn't even been thought of yet, I don't think. And uh, if I wanted to find out how something looked, I had to go to the Winnipeg Public Library. At that time, the library had quite a bit on the Titanic and the Lusitania, come to think of it. You know, that was back when encyclopedias were popular. I don't think they even sell encyclopedia anymore. You have been looking at some pictures that I just got off the internet that show the position of the anchors. It is so much easier now. Don't need to get on the bus and go to the library. Our paint has more than dried now. And it's going to be interesting to see. Did the links sort of fuse themselves together? Or is this going to be flexible? This is actually the first time I'm trying this. I really didn't know. And they're uh, a lot more flexible than they were when we brushed it with the paint yesterday. Or painted it with the brush, I guess I should say. Okay, let's put on the macro lens and have a close look here. Maybe the macro lens is overkill. I'll just pull it over my finger. What's the problem here now? Oh, okay. Okay, now we're zoomed right in. And I'm wondering, is this little clevis, which is removable as you can see, is it small enough that I can get it through this uh, little link here, which is slightly enlarged from being poked onto that pin? Let's give it a try. Okay, I've turned the link just a little bit here, but I think it's just a little bit too small. Just can't quite make it. Close, but no cigar. I think I'm too shaky for this. Well, there's no use going on all day at it because if it's, uh, not going to fit. It doesn't matter how long you work at it, it's not going to go. Oh, okay. You are looking at a little piece of masking tape attached to a piece of glass. Okay, there I've split that. See if we can make it a little bit wider. Maybe if I take this other link off and just put it on afterwards.
On the other hand, let's give this a try like this. I hope I'm not getting my hands in your road here. I can see it not too bad. Yeah, yeah, like that. Now, how could I squeeze this back together? I guess my watch repairing days are over. Truth be known, they never started. just a test. I just want to see if this could be done, then I'll use the length that's already painted. Come on here. Maybe if I hold it down with my big old grubby finger here. It goes on there. This is a different anchor. The other anchor is still attached to the other end of this chain. This is the end that was clipped on where most of the chain got painted. I cut off four links here and I split the fifth one. And as you can see here, I've got it kind of scratched up. So I'm going to have to repaint. Now, let's see if I can do this without shaking so much. Oh no! It went flying at me and hit me somewhere in the shirt here. Well, I don't know if I'll be able to find it or not. Ah, I found it. Okay start again here. Get it just right. Oh, it did it again. This time I think it went on the floor. Okay, I've cut another one. Maybe I shouldn't have taken it off of this other link. I should have left it on there. I can just hear stop buttons clicking all over the world right now. But that's okay. That's okay.
Oh, for Pete's sake. Why was it the other one went so good? Well, comparatively speaking, it went good, didn't it? If you fast forwarded on this, this is going very pathetically. Oh, for heaven's sakes. Now, swing this around. Okay. Now I'm going to use a different tweezer here. that out of your line of sight there. The successful move. I'll just touch that up with touch that up with my tiny little brush later and uh, I think it'll be okay. Well one thing is very very sure and that is this. In this entire series I do not need to show again an anchor clevis being threaded into an anchor chain link. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you tomorrow.